Today, I'm going to show you how actions work in Eliza from Eliza OS. On Windows, Eliza usually only works with uh, WSL. So open up Visual Studio Code and connect to WSL. Usually, the way I have it is I install Docker and Docker installs WSL. Once you're connected, open up the terminal and clone the repo. I like the Eliza starter. It's much less busier. It's easier to understand. So let me get that repo. Then I'll do git clone, clone Eliza. And I'll just open up the repo, Eliza training. Okay. Here you can just do p pm install. Let's open up the characters, open router. I am usually used to open AI, so I'll just change it to open AI. Copy, go into the NV file and just copy paste Copy paste your uh, open ID key into 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 the secrets. That's it. Close it. Save it. Once we install everything, let's do p and p m build. Great. And then we'll do yum. Start characters equals characters Eliza dot character dot JSON. Sometimes when you get this error. figured out one way to solve this is to go into the node modules and go into the better SQLite run npm run build release once that finishes just back out to build again and then just run it. This look is running. Let's say hi to Eliza. Hey, what's up? All right, so this is working. <coughs> now I want to show you guys how actions work in in Eliza. So let's create a folder called um, actions. Okay. This example is pretty much what Shaw showed. Shaw is the founder of Eliza OS. Shaw showed this in, in a sequence of uh, few, many videos called Dev School, which is on YouTube. You can easily find it. 
So this is one of the first example he showed um, on there. So I'm just going to replicate it. This is just going to be a much shorter version of that. Let's call it this action is going to get us the latest news when you add um, the agent for news. So let's call it news action dot ts. Okay. News action dot ts export const news action action equal to cool. so we do control that get ally import okay okay it's called how to fill it using github copilot So we can go this news. We also call for car description. Let's do similes. Usually from the example shown, it's let's just do get news and let us news. On news all right let's just leave it there okay the saying we need to do a little validate just copy paste from my old code just do this all the time just returns true all right here so let's see uh, examples all right examples colon okay now the code is happy we now have to implement get news method here so here we can call news api to to get the news so i'm going to copy paste a function which gets news So this is just a log. This is just logs. Whenever code hits this location, we build a news API URL. We get a news API key. We'll do that. We'll do an API call here. Get the response back, and then we take top five articles from the response. The way we we'll just add the news API key to the env. So just go to the bottom here equal to and then get your news, news api key i'm not going to show you how to get all these keys these are pretty straightforward you can easily google or just go to news api news api.org it's pretty self-explanatory so, okay i get my news api key paste it here and then i'll close it all right, uh, okay, that's that. And then now we build something called a context. We are basically, this is kind of giving the agent kind of giving the agent how to extract the topic from what is being asked. Is it these are right. Okay, these are variables which come on the handler. So basically what we're telling is hey extract the search term from the user's message. The message is the incoming message which comes into the handler and only respond with the search term do not include any other text and then after that we actually call the eliza function the frame the framework This 
This is generate text comes from the Eliza OS. This is basically what Eliza OS provides. So these are inbuilt functionality from Eliza OS. So, so we, we feed this context into this generate text message and then we are just saying just use a small model and then we go to once we get the search term we'll actually do the API call which calls this method which basically uses the search term and feeds into the news API and gets the response back here. Once that happens all we do is we'll build a, a we'll build a response Basically, we are concatenating a few strings with each other, the search term, news results, that's about it. And then, we add it to the callback of the agent. Callback is another argument of the handler, and then uh, we also have to add options to keep it happy. That's about it. And then we just basically response text. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Now we need to register this action into the main file, which is the index a index.ts. Look for that. Obviously add a reference. And okay, let's see. We build it. And then we start the character. Then we can say hi. Get me news on crypt crypto here here we go so when we can go we'll go back up here's where we request it if you scroll slowly down you can kind of see what's happening this is the action news This is something the agent responded with, and then it got the news. Trying to look for a log, which we had, action. Oh, here it is, here's, here's a log. So it extracted this whole three words actually. Not ideal, but I think we get the idea. We just need to make our directions a little more solid and so that we can only extract one word out of it. But here it is. Here's how actions work in Eliza.